According to this, on USA Today, top 1% holds $38.7 trillion in wealth. That's more than the combined wealth of America's middle class, a group many economists define as the middle 60% of households by income. $38.7 trillion. So our whole total debt is actually... The money isn't gone. It's It belongs to them, right? So, I don't know, you know. I mean, if worse comes to worse, and they'll they'll try all kinds of stuff to make it illegal, but, um, you know, it's got to... It, it's got to come back to the, to the government to pay its bills, you know, pay your bills. So, um... Got to get it. You know, you don't want to take all their money, but, uh... They have the money, not us, and and we're the only way they have the money, because we're the only ones working, getting anything done, and paying our bills. That really, I mean, there's something going on if the, we don't have the money and they do. That uh, if the government wasn't in debt, because it's obviously our country by numbers and 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 skill. Because, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't fight, fight a war without any, any of us. It's one way or the other. I mean, we, we have to finance it or uh, work on it ourselves, right? So, well, they could in a, in a way if they were to put, but then, of course, they wouldn't be rich like us. We aren't rich, right? So they need to take their their money. Okay, this is more. This seems more normal. Okay, the collective fortune of America's seven hundred forty-one billionaires has grown to five point two trillion. So that seems more more right. So where's this number thirty-eight point seven? Okay, that's the combined wealth of the millionaires. Okay, it's the deck of millionaires combined with the billionaires. Well, that we know... Is real estate. Now, leaving the billionaires out of it, only five, that's only five something trillion. You add all the millionaires who are millionaires, 90% from real estate, that would pay our bills. You know, if, if it just said, okay, bull, you know, you couldn't really do it. They should have made co- regulations to keep you from doing it because all they had to do was put a first time buyer's regulation that uh, tell everybody has a, 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 a reasonable opportunity to buy a house their first time which would mean like the house goes up on the market it can only be bought by a first time buyer for say three to six months that would have stopped it there would hardly be any millionaires from real estate because everybody would have a house and not need to buy their high freaking houses. And they would probably ship people in from other countries. Like, that's probably why most of it happens anyways. So they can get their property sold. The demand of the market to go up. Because if when people come in here, like the groves, then um, they all want a house. So that makes the property demand and supply it off balance. So then the, the prices go way high. So they buy them up, and then when everybody wants one, they have them, right? And they hold on to them for a couple of years so they don't have to pay taxes. It's like two years, and then you don't have to pay taxes. So they'll hold on to them, and then they don't have to pay taxes when they sell them. While, you know, and everybody starts wanting a house, and the demand goes way up because they're holding on to the houses after they buy them.
anyway.